Well, folks, on Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine this morning, you know, so many of you all love and you watch me bird hunt all across this great country of ours. And of course, I have a special, a special place in my heart for all the bird dogs that I've owned. God rest all their souls. But we're at a location today in the state of South Carolina. Now you've heard of the Grand American Field Dog Trials, you've heard of the National Shoot to Retrieve, but we're with the state of South Carolina, a local group, the Palmetto Quail Hunters here who are bringing it back local. Those guys are dedicated to not only the sport of upland bird hunting and quail hunting, but also they love their dogs. When have you never seen a bird hunter who doesn't love their dogs? And so with these guys, they're taking the opportunity to showcase their bird dogs with the field trials that they run all across this great state. And so on our show this week, we're gonna dedicate this show to all those great bird hunters across the country who love your bird dog. And I hope you get to see some great action today with the Palmetto Quail Hunters right here on Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. What I thought of this lead, he might have been a jay. Fish on! Double up, double up, man! <laughs> Welcome back to our show this week. We are here at the field dog trial grounds of, well, this guy right here, Keith Henderson from Florence. He owns this beautiful farm here that the Palmetto quail hunters utilize throughout the season and throughout the state where they host field dog trials. And this guy right here is the 2017, 2018 state champion field dog trialer here with the group. And he won it a week ago. And so Keith, I, I'm not going to shake your hand brother, cause we're <laughs> fixing to go out here and show what these dogs can do in right. a field trial setting. But what dogs you got uh, on tap for us today? I've got little uh, Turbo George here, which is an eight year old English pointer and Voodoo Bear. He's, uh, he's a two-year-old that I got from a Geechee Princess from New Orleans. New Orleans. So he's got the power. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we, we've got good temperatures this morning. We're about probably 35 degrees, got a light breeze. So this is gonna be a good time to work these dogs. Again, you can see all of the, the wonderful uh, habitat that these guys utilize here on the uh, on the dog trial grounds. You've just done a great job with with establishing this place as, as a as a as a state recognized field dog trial ground. Well, thank you, Bob. We we like uh, doing things in conjunction with the uh, South Carolina Wildlife Department for the kids and things like that uh, to try to keep the new generation coming up. So well, we all enjoy it. I just really appreciate you having us along today. And Keith's going to allow me to be the gunner. Okay, so we're not here to establish exactly how a field trials run. What we just want to show you is this beautiful habitat that he's got out here. We want to let these dogs do their thing this morning and maybe uh, I'll get a chance to, to help them out a little bit, okay? Uh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Are we ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, man. Let's, let, let's rock and roll. Right. Voodoo man, do it. <laughs> Time to burp. All right. Voodoo bear has the point and a solid back okay. by George. Ah, that is pretty. Man, that is pretty. Whoa. Wool bear. All right, Mr. Bob. Nice shot. Well, Dead. I had to wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You did it perfectly. Until <laughs> he got a little bit of. Dead bird. There Dead. we go. Wow, that's pretty. Dead. That is pretty. Dead, George. Okay, now score that, uh, which is good. Dead. Dead. They'll retrieve. Yeah. Retrieve two hand for 20 points. Wow. I can't move. I, I have got to be you. Be stationary. You got to stay still. Here, okay. George. George. Here, 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 here. <laughs> here. All there right, we go. Congratulations, my friend. Well, congratulations nice to you. I will tell you, while we stand here just for a second, I, folks, 
Field trialing, not only in the state of South Carolina, but all across the country, showcases the best of the bird dogs of these great handlers out there. And you know, again, in order to have a great uh, time in the field and, and hunting, these things have got to be well-tuned machines, <laughs> yes, you know, sir. Keith. And I just tell you, th these are a pleasure to watch. Well, that means a lot. We, our group as a whole, we we've got some really really good dogs, and and we enjoy it. I tell you what, this is good fun. Well, as you move on into retirement, okay, um, do not let this place go go oh, down. No. You, no, you've got to make sure that you keep this place because it is a beautiful place to do it. Thank it's you. a wonderful sport. God bless you for all that you're doing, and, and I will tell you, thank you so much, and congratulations on being the 2017-28 state champion. Well, thank you very much. And, and I just, uh, I'm really, really happy that it was bestowed upon these two dogs. Well, we, we as a group appreciate what you and your guys do as well. Well, thank you so, so much. It well, works both ways. Well, folks, stay tuned. we got another point uh, over here, We Bob. do over there. Stay tuned. We're going to go over and catch it, but when we come back, we're going to have another of one of these great members going to have their bird dogs out here, and we're going to see exactly how they do, okay, up against the 2017-2018 champion. <laughs> <laughs> New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Fireline. That means you catch more fish. Ultra 8 features eight graded strength, heated to molecularly bind individual fibers. It lays well on the spool and is quieter to going through your guide. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. New Fireline Ultra 8, and you thought Fireline could get any better. Before your next boating adventure, create a float plan and leave it with a friend or a relative. What this plan is going to do is it's going to give us when and where you're going to launch your boat, what time you plan on returning, the routes you're planning on taking, who's going to be on the boat with you, some emergency contact numbers, and it's also going to give us your registration number so we know what boat we're looking for in case of an emergency. So please be safe and have fun on South Carolina waterways. When is the last time you traced your roots, not your family's roots? The roots of the food you eat, those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. The old 96th district in South Carolina is nestled in the western corner of the state and is a haven for fishing enthusiasts. South Carolina's freshwater coastline wraps around 84,000 acres of water, including lakes Greenwood, Russell, and Thurman. Experience the incredible outdoor adventures, arts, culture, history, and heritage of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, and Lawrence, and McCormick counties. Plan your next outdoor outing in South Carolina's old 96th district, a part of the South Carolina freshwater coast. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. By Shakespeare's Ugly Stick GX2 Rod. Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. By Browning Ammunition, Browning, the best there is. And by Southern Woods Plantation a place where the grandeur of times past can still be experienced today. Welcome back to the show. On this segment, I've got the vice president of the Palmetto Quail Hunters. It is Lance White. And I tell you what, this guy has got some German short hairs. Uh, I, I love pointers. And you know, in our last one, Keith's got some beautiful ones, but I also uh, owned them, but I also had short hairs and I'm kind of partial to these. What's the name of these two dogs, my friend? This is uh, this is Sadie. Sadie, okay. And this is Bertie. This is our runner up this year. Oh, wow. Now, listen, you have been two year past champions. Yeah. Yes, with, with uh, my mail dog, Speck. Well, yeah, there you go. Yes, sir. Okay, and then you've relinquished your championship run to Keith. Now, man, that, that must have been hard to turn loose it, of. It really was, but uh, but Keith had a good run this year. It was kind of hard to keep up with George. He came out really strong out the gate, and uh, he was just kind of untouchable this year. Listen, buddy, I'll tell you what, you, 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 you've got to 
Well, you know, you got to coach them up too, okay? Oh, I mean, yeah. You being the young and upcoming guy, you got to let the uh, us older guys. You got to let us win once in a while. Just keep us involved. You we know, got, what we got to throw them a bone occasionally. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to seeing these two run. Shall we go? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Oh, All right. Hey. Uh, Sadie's Bert. got the point up here, okay. and Birdie's backing. Gotcha. Now, in a regular field trial situation, the backing dog will be collared. So I'm going to have my friend Hank come over here and collar. Okay. Collar Birdie. That way, the dog that actually got the point once the bird's shot can retrieve the bird without any interference. And get it scored. Yes. I got you. Okay. All right. Now, if the bird will cooperate and fly the right way, Sadie, we'll be in good shape. Whoa, Sadie. <laughs> And I appreciate you guys letting me uh, do be the gunner today. Oh, we're glad to have you. Let's see. Whoa, Sadie. Bird's right here. Come on up a little bit, Bob. Let's uh, see if I'll we can get it. this thing to cooperate this time. Okay. All right. There we go. Now we're going to get a chance to see Sadie retrieve. Fetch him dead. Fetch him dead. Fetch him dead. Fetch him. Fetch him dead, Sadie. Mm-hmm. Here, girl. Bring her here, Sadie. There she got her. Look at that. She is here, a, girl. Here, here. She is a petite, uh -uh. a petite here, bird Sadie. dog, Lance. Sadie. Look at that. Here. Right here. Good girl. Okay, now, how we score that one? Does she get the full? <laughs> she gets the full. Now, if I'd have picked it up off the ground, right. then she'd have got docked to drop the 10 points for the retrieve. I got you. But as, since I made her pick it back up and hand it to me, then she gets full credit. Oh, awesome. Well, well done, my friend. Well done. Now, listen, if folks want to become a part of this organization, the Palmetto Quail Hunters, okay, you guys have got a website. Uh, tell everybody out there. And if they just want to come and watch, how can they get a hold of you guys? Um, we've got a Facebook page, Palmetto Quail Hunters. Okay. And we've also got a website that'll be up in the next month or two, and it's okay. palmettoquailhunters.com. Oh, wow. Well, folks, listen, I will tell you, field trials all across this country showcase the best of what these guys like to put in the field is an upland bird hunting dog. They love their dogs. We hope that you love watching their bird dogs right here on Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. And with that, stay tuned, because I'm going to have another brace, and I'm going to have the president of the Palmetto Quail Hunters. He's going to be running a brace with us, and we're going to be talking about his dogs. So with that, all right, brother. We got another Enjoy point it. out here, man, huh? Let's go see what these dogs can do. Be sure to catch more Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine by visiting online at bobredfern.com. Go to Bob's Top 16 and plan your next outdoor adventure with the same outfitters you see on the show each and every week. Looking for cooking ideas for your next meal? Then be sure to visit the Sportsman's Table and see all the new and past recipes from some of the best chefs in the Southeast. If you missed an episode or just want to look at a past show, cooking episodes, or special features, then become a subscriber of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine's YouTube channel. Stay connected online with Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine at bobredfern.com. We all depend on trucks. Chevy. Chevy. Chevy trucks. We think it's because Chevrolets are the most dependable, dependable, dependable trucks. Built to last a long, long time. With durable, durability, and rugged ruggedness. I like the extra power. Pulling power. Messy power. And quality. Seems they make them strong. With extra strong. Mile after mile after mile. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. 
I was really fortunate to be raised in a family with a strong outdoor heritage. We've been farming and hunting land that's been in our family since the Revolutionary War. Being good stewards of the land and wildlife and passing that on to future generations has always been part of our heritage. My grandfather created a company based on these values, and 70 years later, Pennington is still guided by these principles. This culture and these values are reflected in all of our products. Let us help you create your own outdoor legacy. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. We're here at Chai Blossom Cafe at Pauley's Island, South Carolina, and joining me today is my chef guest, Ed Drombrowski with Lee's Farm in Merle's Inlet. And I have to tell you, Ed, thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Well, listen, you, we've got to talk about some products at Lee's Farm, but let's get into this recipe because I'm really kind of excited about this. Great. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to do, instead of doing the typical shrimp and grits down here or, or fish and grits, we're catching blue crab right now, so we're going to do some crab and grits. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a little bit of olive oil okay. in, a, in a hot pan. I'd like to add the butter now. Get that melting. No, everything's better with butter. Oh, nothing's <laughs> nothing's like butter. All right, next, real quick, we're going to put some shallots. I'm telling you, chef and garlic and their shallots yep. and their garlic. Right, exactly. There you go. And you don't need to put much. You know, about 30 seconds or so. You just want to get the fragrance going here. Okay. Okay. Now, instead of salt and pepper, I like to use Old Bay. Ah. Okay. So I'm going to throw a little bit of Old Bay in there, kind season of the it up. Kind secret powder. Yeah, though. I kind of like that. Yeah, there you go. Mm, that does smell good. Exactly. Now what you're doing is while you're doing this, you're obviously your your grits are being done. You're, right. I like to do mine ahead of time and I like to mound mine. And I'm, I, I do a, a blue grit, uh, you know, a southern blue grit here from South Carolina. Uh, just love the flavor of that. Oh, wow. All right, so that's ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our crab meat. Okay. Okay. And this is I like to use the body the, or the lump crab meat of, of the um, of the crab. Mm. Okay. Listen, that that is fresh South Carolina. Oh yeah, that too. is it. Wow, that's not in your can. No, that is definitely not in your can. Then mm -hmm. some people will add different types of heat. They may add chili peppers, may do red pepper flake. I love jalapenos, and I love the candied jalapeno yeah. because it takes away the tartness of the lemon that I'm going to add. Well, I'm going to show all the folks one of the products at Lee's Farm. And you guys have got about 50 of those out exactly. there. Exactly. So, yep. You know, tell folks how they can log they, on and do Exactly. It. They can do that at uh, www.leesfarmersmarket.com. There you go. Okay. Add a little bit of white wine. Ooh. Okay. Add the jalapenos. And folks, you want a copy of Ed's recipe, just log on to bobredfern.com. Mmm. Wow. Now what I like to do is I like to throw some lemon zest. People don't realize how much flavor is actually in the lemon zest. Okay. Okay. So now we got garlic, we got lemon, I got a little bit of the heat and the sweet from the candy jalapeno. Yeah. Okay. So we're all set there. Now it's time to finish it off. So like I said, ahead of time I like to have mine mounded. Some people like to have it nice and wet. This will kind of soften it up. So what we do is I got my blue grits, I have some candy jalapenos in there. We're going to pour that across the top. Ooh, wow. Let that sit in there nice. And mm. then I like to finish it off with a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic. A little bit more of the lemon zest. Look at that. A little bit of color. I, I love parsley. And then most important, who doesn't like cheese grits? Mm, and I true. put a little grated cheese on top. Oh my goodness. And there you go, you got crab and grits. Wow, Lee's Farm, Ed Drombrowski. My friend, thank, thank you, you so much, much for being a guest. Appreciate and I will it again. Tell you, again, folks, if you would like more great recipes like you've seen today, again, come on down to Pauly's Island. Come to Merle's Inlet. Stop by Lee's Farm. You can see this guy and his father and his brother there. I'll tell you what, these guys will put you on some great South Carolina products. But also log on to CertifiedSEGrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for just for yourself. Again, we'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste.
it's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original Powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage-inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. We all depend on trucks. Chevy. Chevy. Chevy trucks. We think it's because Chevrolets are the most dependable, dependable, dependable trucks. Built to last a long, long time. With durable, durability. And rugged, ruggedness. I like the extra power. Pulling power. Messy power. And quality. Seems they make them strong. With extra strong. Mile after mile after mile. Here's another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. The number one priority when hunting out of a tree stand is safety. You owe it to your family and friends to wear a safety harness when hunting from an elevated tree stand. Inspect your stand prior to the beginning of hunting season. Check any straps or cables for damage and make sure that the stand is firmly attached to your tree. Always have at least three points of contact when climbing into your stand. And remember, tree stand safety is no accident. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southernwoods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southernwoods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is brought to you today by Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. By Paddington Seed, the leader in outdoor forage products. By Browning, Browning, the best there is. By Bienville Plantation, Florida's best bass fishing well, welcome back. Our third segment today, we're going to feature in our brace here the president of the Palmetto Quail Hunters, Joey Robinson from Sumter, South Carolina, and his two beautiful dogs. And I will tell you, this one we call the ballerina. Tell, tell us who we're going to be hunting with today, this Joey. Is, uh, this is Raina, and this is Sh Little Shug. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, little Shug. Now, listen, how many years have you been field trying? Uh... I've been about eight years now. Wow. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Well, you know, and again, with with beautiful pointers, I mean, how, how could you not love All the this dogs sport? are pretty. They are. They All of them are. Every dog has his day. <laughs> well, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing these two youngsters right here work. Now, have you uh, won the championship? At, yes, I've, I've won it uh, twice. And uh, Lance has won it uh, a couple of times. Keith. He's our, our major champion. I think Keith's won it probably about four times. So uh, we, we keep it right here close, you know, close in the house here. Well, you guys love the sport so much. And yes, so we do. It, it is rewarding. And, you know, and again, it's just not about the hunt, but it's about how these dogs perform and just keeping the sport alive. So with that, I'm ready to go. I'm looking forward Sounds to seeing good. these two do their thing. Sounds good. You ready? All right, yeah. let's do it. All right. All right, find a bird. Yeah, Rena's got the bird. She's on point. Okay. All right. She, well, she, now she's when the bird flushes, she'll get 20 points. All right. Shug will get eight points for the back. And when you shoot the bird, she retrieves it. Then you'll get another 20 points for your retrieve. Uh, if you miss the bird, you don't get anything. So, I got you. Because you can't get a retrieve. Well, let's not keep them waiting. Huh? Yeah. Let's. Okay. Let, let's go. <laughs> I tell you, I really appreciate you guys allowing me to come along because, I mean, a lot of folks out there and our viewers, they watch me bird hunt across the country, but uh, this is well, a Rena, total different sport. We, I mean, we enjoy the competition of it. Yeah. Um, but we also enjoy the, all the people that come to watch. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we, have a, we have a pretty good following of people that come, you know, just to, to watch the dogs. Whoop. All right, you tell me where you want. Uh, you want me on the other side? No, bird's here. Okay. All okay. Right. Bird's right there in front of her and right there. 
I got you. Uh, let me, I'm going to call a Suge. Okay. And uh, you can just flush that bird. All right, let, I got you. Uh, that way she can get to retrieve. All right, Reed. What Little do you bit. think? Huh? All right. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry, it took me two, but I got her down for her. That's all right. <laughs> mm. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. There she got it. There, there she comes. Go. That's that's great. Look at that. Okay, go find right. her. <laughs> Come here, 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 here. Good girl. Good girl. What a well trained. What a well trained animal, man. Good I'm job. telling you. Good I'm job. glad I can do my part because I had I'm glad you I, did your part, too. I'm telling you. See, if I'd have missed that bird, you would never forget. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try another one here. Well, Rena has her reputation as the ballerina. Look at that, look at that point. Mm. Okay, what, sure. What do you think, Rena? Tell you what I may do, just cross over a little bit, Joey. All right. There we go. And now we'll wait on the retrieve. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. Oh, now. Good Re girl. Rena knows there what she's go. doing. <laughs> That's the difference in a five-year-old dog and a year-and-a-half-old exactly. dog. Exactly. You betcha. Hey, bring him here. Come here. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Now you got your points. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well done, right. my friend. Well Thank done. Good well shooting. done. Good shooting. Uh, well, I'd rather do it in one shot, but that's okay. That's why Browning <laughs> gave me two, okay? Always bring plenty of shells. That's it. I become one with a gun, and okay? There you go. <laughs> in my 725. All right. Okay. Man, let's see if we can't find another bird. Yeah. Well, folks, that's our show from beautiful Latta, South Carolina at the Palmetto Quail Hunters Field Dog Trial Grounds over here. We've had a great morning showcasing what bird dogs do in the field, and these guys have had a chance to showcase their champion bird dogs in a setting of where they're winning championships. And with that, i got to thank every one of these guys. Lance, i tell you what, it's been a pleasure, Keith. Thank and you. Joey, listen, yeah. I tell you what, just you guys keep winning those championships. You guys are part of this group and all the guys that make this thing go. Thank you guys so much for what you're doing for the sport of upland bird hunting, and I really appreciate it. And so with all of that, guys, I will tell you, log on to BobRedfern.com. We'll have a listing for the Palmetto Quail Hunters there. Log on to their Facebook page and to their website. If you have a field trial event around the country at your place, take a kid. Get them involved in bird hunting, just like these guys do here in the state of South Carolina. Not only will you be able to see champions, maybe you can raise a champion for the future and get them outside and get them outdoors. And with that, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you all next week. Oh, <laughs>